Hey guys, so today is going to be a holiday inspired video and I'm going to be doing my top five favorite red lipsticks for the holiday time. I tend to wear more red lipstick come holiday season, which I think is for most people. And I have five drugstore lipsticks. I wanted to include some higher end ones because they are my favorite, but I do equally like the drugstore ones. So I thought I'll just do a drugstore. Everyone can um, get their hands on those. They're cheaper and they're just easier to get a hold of. And they're still really, really nice, like some of the higher end red lipsticks that I like. So, so let's go ahead and get started. I have, um, I'll do the one that I'm wearing first. So the one that I'm wearing is this one, and it is the L'Oreal La Lecker, La Lecker, I don't know. Um, these are newer, they're like kind of in a pen crayon form, it looks like this in the tube, and they also have the, this is like a shiny one, the La Lacquers, I think that's how you say it, I'm not really sure, and then they have the matte ones, which I do actually really like the matte ones, but I like this one more, and this is in the color, oh gosh, Lacquer Ankh, Lacquer Ankh, I have no idea what this is supposed to be, it's number 413, I will put everything that I mentioned in the description box down below so you guys can see what I'm trying to pronounce, but this is just a really, really pretty, like, classic red color. Um, I kind of have it more blotted and like dabbed in with my finger and kind of like blended more. But if you apply it straight like on the tube without like kind of blotting or anything, you get a very, very rich color. It's a extremely like pop of red. It's very shiny. These are really nice to wear. They're not drying. They're very comfortable and they also have sort of like a sticky formulation to them. So they're not going to like smudge all over your face. They will um, like transfer like from your lips to your cup if you're drinking or whatever, but they I don't have I don't feel like I'm worrying about it when I'm wearing it. It's also really easy to apply because it's in this like pen form, which is really really nice. And I just I really like this for the holiday time. So next is a red lipstick that I've had for a very long time. It is like my go-to red lipstick and this is from Rimmel. It's the Kate Moss collection and this is in 01. I really wish that the would have like cool names instead of like numbers because that is, come on, do you need someone to come up with names for you Rimmel? Because uh, I would totes be about that. But anyways, this is like a really pretty kind of deeper cherry red color. Um, these smell really good by the way. They smell like cherries. I don't know. I really like that. And I'm pretty sure this is like, yeah, this is like a, a long lasting kind of lipstick. So um, it is a little bit drier because it is a long lasting lipstick, but I really don't have a problem with it. I just kind of put um, like a light layer of lip balm underneath and put this on and I think it's perfectly fine. Like it's not anything excruciating, but because it is a longer lasting kind of wear lipstick, it will stay on your lips a little bit longer. Um, I still find that it does transfer on like my from my lips to my cup. Actually, all the lipstick I'm gonna mention will transfer. Just a heads up if that's not what you're into. I'm really sorry, but honestly, like kind of all lipstick transfer, even if they say they don't, I still find that they do a little bit. But anyways, um, this one isn't as bad. It still like I I don't know. It's just a, it's it's a gorgeous color. It's a very deeper cherry color so if you're more into like a vampy lip look I really like this color. So the next one is a more wearable red lip color and this is the Revlon Lip Butter so this is more of like a moisturizing tinted lip balm but more pigmented than tinted lip balms I guess. It's very creamy and moisturizing and this is in the color Wild Watermelon and this is just a really really pretty kind of pinky red color. It's got a sheer kind of cherry look on your lips, which I really like. So if red lips are kind of intimidating to you, this would be a really, really good color for you because it is more of like a sheared out red, which I think is really pretty for the fall time. And just like all year round, I think a really pretty sheer red color is really nice. So if you want to do a red lip for the holidays, but red lip isn't really your thing or it's intimidating, I would definitely recommend the Revlon Lip Butter and Wild Watermelon. So now I'm going to move on to more of like the pinky reds. Um, I kind of mentioned more of like the classic 
cherry reds and then wild watermelon was kind of like in between there so now it's more of like a pinky red because sometimes I don't know I don't want just like a classic red lip I want to kind of spice it up a little bit and do like a pinky red and sometimes those are just more flattering with your skin tone or complements your eye look a little bit better so the first one is a covergirl lipstick in the color flame and this is like a pretty pinky red color these are really really nice on the lips they're very creamy and moisturizing and they just feel really nice I really like the covergirl lipsticks I don't really have a lot and I don't know why because I really like them a lot and whenever I use this I'm like oh this feels really nice on the lips but this is like a pinky red color and I think I think Flame is like one of the red colors that Taylor Swift wears. I'm not really sure. I might just be making that up, but for some reason I feel like that's it. I don't know, but it's a gorgeous color regardless, and I, I like the CoverGirl lipsticks a lot. So my last lipstick is very fitting to be my last lipstick because it is a very like classic historical red lipstick, and this is from Revlon, and this is in the color Fire and Ice, and this is just a really pretty kind of pinky red color and if you guys don't know fire and ice is like a very historical lipstick I think it's either it was either the first red lipstick in Revlon or it's just like one of the oldest lipsticks that they've kept in Revlon or something like that I think it came out in the 20s I don't actually know but I know it's like a very historical lipstick for Revlon and it's very old and this is just a gorgeous color I mean just look at it in the tube it's so pretty Every time I put this on, I'm like, this looks gorgeous on me, and it's a very, like, muted red color, I would almost say, but it's still very bright and, like, a pop of color, but it's not going to be your vampy red. It's just a classic, iconic red lipstick, and honestly, I think everyone should just own this in their collection. If you like makeup, if you're a beauty guru like myself, then you should own this because it's just so pretty, and it's just, like, a historical thing, and... It's, it's gorgeous. So that is all of my five red lipsticks that I like to wear for the holiday times. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like any red lipsticks um, from the drugstore that I didn't mention, tell me in the comments below because I would love to hear what some of your favorites are. I do have like other favorites that I didn't mention because this video would be hella long if I kept going. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.